It's 2.30 in the morning! That's how you know we're trying to do right by you this December. Tenacity95 tenaciously writes, which is better, metric or imperial? What are their pros and cons? This is easy, because there's only one for each. Pro, it makes sense, and virtually everyone uses it. Con, it doesn't make any sense. At all. You want proof? Try this in your head. What's one kilometer minus 20 decameters plus three meters minus 25 centimeters? Tick tock, tick tock. It's easy, it's 802.75 meters. That's what it is. All right, now what about a mile minus 10 yards plus two feet minus an inch and a half? Tick tock, tick tock. You don't have any idea, and I don't either. Let's see, that's 1,750 yards plus two feet. I should be doing this in feet. And I didn't even use any obscure measurements like furlongs or fathoms. In case you're wondering, the answer is 5,251 feet, 10 and one half inches. I'm not a show off, I had to work for it. And for you skeptics, need I say more? Okay, fine, I will. Mix two gallons with six pints and three quarts, stir it up and take out three cups. How much is left? You probably can't remember how many pints are in a cup and how many cups are in a quart. You probably didn't even catch that I just said them in the wrong order. The answer is three gallons, two pints, and one cup. It's not a broken system, just a lousy one. On the flip side, you mix six liters with 22 centiliters and eight deciliters and then take out 160 milliliters. How much is left? 1,001, time's up. It's 6.86 liters. Okay, rewind. It's all arbitrary. At some point, somebody made something up as a standard to measure things by. I am the king. We shall use our royal body parts as a standard of measurement. Metric is so much better. Like Occam's razor and all of science, the simplest solution is the best. And by simplest, I mean simplest for calculations. Look, since it's all arbitrary anyway, I don't care what you call it. You can still say yard, even when it's a meter, and use horsepower for whatever that is. Just please make it divisible by 10, not by four or 12 or three or six or 16 depending on what we're talking about, it just makes it easier. It's three o'clock in the morning. I'm not gonna try and be funny.